Just by going into the app. Look at that. All right, out of breath. Who says one wheeling isn't a workout? When the board senses that you're going on an incline. So weird. Ow. What the fuck? What's up? We are out here on one of the underground race segments here in San Jose. I am going to be taking the Vesk and trying to beat my personal record here of one minute, one second. Try to keep up with some of these young guns and GTs, heavily modded XRs. So let's see how the Vesk stands up with the rest of them. It is a beautiful day. The biggest hurdle for Vesk is high speed racing on bumpy terrain downhill uphill about to do my first practice lap let's do this Definitely uh, not my fastest, but let's see how we did. 106, not super, put me in sixth. Okay, let's keep trying. show you this edge carving feature unique to the VESC programming notice how it doesn't oh, notice how it doesn't scrape the corner of the nose I challenge you guys to try this go on the shoulder of the tire as much as you can and rotate on it and it will not hit the nose and will keep you up such an underrated perk a vest a front side this feature really helps out when you're hitting berms and really catching the side of the tire and then accelerating in and out of it you can actually emulate posi with your board just by going into the app and making some settings, setting changes. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? Oh, fuck. You don't need cables. You don't need any sort of hardware devices. All you gotta do is go into the app. You can control your left and right sensor. Oh, right. 
she a wild one. <clears throat> Pretty neat. It feels like it raises the nose one to two degrees when you're going at speed over bumps. So it's like a very mellow pushback, but the nose feels firmer. Dynamic tilt is essentially when the board senses that you're going on an incline, it will raise the nose, help adjust the nose for you, and then apply more torque into the board. And very special because you don't have to change ride modes. If you're going up a steep hill, you would have to adjust to elevated. You come back down, you're not gonna go down a steep hill tail dragging on elevated. That's one really cool thing about dynamic tilt is that once it senses that the board's level again, it will just level back out. Round three. on that give me one flat i'm scared to check i got okay i tied my personal best 101 not bad i want to beat it though come on mm. warming up though austin and mercedes are all on gts and they're freaking fast animals so um, this will be a nice challenge. Made some tweaks to the app settings. Let's beat 101. Touchdown! I was just going way too fast at that hill. This hill, this little mountain is pretty steep right here. Can't go too fast. Let's see how I do. Oh, 104. Check this, another great benefit of the new firmware update is that when you do a quick stop, the tire no longer kicks back. It's just a dead stop. I couldn't really tell at first because I thought the XRs would do this or or a GT even if you're in motion there's no kickback I was trying to think what is the benefit of not having the tire kickback not having dirt kick up all the time when you stop kick up on you other people not only is it quick it's clean. When you're doing trail riding, you probably got a line of people if you're in the back and you want to stop, you always kick up dirt to the guy in front of you. That's just another great thing about Vesk is that people are constantly adjusting and tuning the settings. Constant updates, you can see and experience the progress and innovation real time. It's just an amazing experience. All right, last run.
felt kind of slow on some spots. Bet you I tied. Yeah, 102. Damn, definitely more consistent than the low ones, but just cannot crack the 101 yet. <laughs> you know what? Let me try one more, no recording. Just focus on the ride. That was my last run without filming. Just a little more focus and balance, and I got one minute flat. Sweet. Austin first on GT, Brandon second on GT. It's quite encouraging to see that Vesk can stay within range of some of the best riders in the world. Austin is definitely top 10 fastest trail rider in the world. Trying to keep up with the GT is a definite challenge. Dotto helped me out with some more settings, tweakings, and the nose is a lot more firmer and not dipping as much when you're doing downhill ruts and into berms. So super stoked to see how it does. I'm wearing my favorite shirt. Let's do this. Another PR. Not by much, only by another second. But hey, look at that. Progress. Now tied for second. Tied again. Oh, I cannot crack 59. That'll be the next goal. All right, last run for today. The fact that I hit 59 seconds twice in a row. I am just super happy about that. Hit this bomb. Probably not the best idea. I just started over pace, but fuck it. Hit that nine then. Damn, that was a wild one. <laughs> uh, 101. Okay, 101. Sorry, out of breath. Who says one wheeling isn't a workout? 101 would have been fourth. So, shit. Three tries. First two were 59 59, and third try was 101. That's way more consistent now. Yes, I am happy with the new settings. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the progress going. I'm gonna keep working on the settings, keep getting the muscle memory down, trying to maximize its full potential. But yeah, until then, see you on the next video. 
please comment, consider subscribing, and yeah, have a great day. <laughs> and find yourself a tire swing. <laughs>